morning and welcome. You're watching the Comics FX Daily Outlook for Wednesday, March 18th. The euro rose 0.21% against the US dollar and closed at 1.0593. Data showed that Germany's ZDW economic sentiment index advanced to 54.80, improving for the fifth consecutive month in March. The euro also found support after consumer prices in the eurozone rebounded 0.6% on a monthly basis in February, in line with market expectations. The pair is expected to find support at 1.0555, and a fall through could take it to the next support level of 1.0503. The pair is expected to find its first resistance at 1.0655, and a rise through could take it to the next resistance level of 1.0704. Trading trends in the pair today are expected to be determined by the statement from the US Fed scheduled later today, which may offer hints about the stance that the central bank may adopt in 2015. The British pound fell 0.52% against the US dollar and closed at 1.4748. The pair is expected to find support at 1.4707 and a fall through could take it to the next support level of 1.4653. The pair is expected to find its first resistance at 1.4831, and the rise through could take it to the next resistance level of 1.4901. Looking ahead, investors will keep a tab on Britain's employment survey for the three months end of January, scheduled in a few hours, which is anticipated to show that hiring pace in the nation remain robust. Meanwhile, the Bank of England minutes from its latest monetary policy meeting would also generate enough market attention. The US dollar traded marginally lower against the Japanese yen and closed out 121.35. Data indicated that the final leading economic index in Japan rose to 105.5 in January, compared to a preliminary reading of 105.1 in December. Earlier today, data showed that Japan's merchandise total trade deficit dropped to 424.60 billion yen in February. Markets were anticipating the nation to record a deficit of 1,000.80 billion yen. The pair is expected to find support at 121.14, and the fall through could take it to the next support level of 120.93. The pair is expected to find its first resistance at 121.52, and the rise through could take it to the next resistance level of 121.71. The Australian dollar weakened 0.27% against the US dollar to close at 0.7623. Elsewhere, in China, Australia's biggest trading partner, the house price index dropped 5.7% in February, following a decline of 5.1% in January. The pair is expected to find support at 0.7597, and the fall through could take it to the next support level of 0.7570. The pair is expected to find its first resistance at 0.7659, and the rise through could take it to the next resistance level of 0.7694. Gold prices traded lower by 0.49% against the US dollar at 1148.70 per ounce, ahead of the Fed's closely watched monetary policy meeting scheduled later today, as the market speculations whether the US central bank would make any announcement regarding its interest rate decision. Separately, gold holdings of the SPDR Gold Trust, the world's largest gold-backed exchange trade fund, narrowed to 750.67 tons, compared to its previous level of 750.95 tons. The pair is expected to find support at 1141.43, and the fall through could take it to the next support level of 1132.66. The pair is expected to find its first resistance at 1159.13, and the rise through could take it to the next resistance level of 1168.06. ComicsFX is now offering a new application. Download the brand new ComicsFX TradeMates app right now and receive daily market information, suggested market directions to trade on, highlighted best trading options, and more, covering a wide range of markets, including energy, metals, indices, and forex, among others. Trade easily, trade successfully. For more information on ComicsFX TradeMates app, Kindly visit our main website www.comicsfx.com. Stay in the know by liking us on Facebook, following us on Twitter and Instagram, circling us on Google Plus, and of course, subscribing to our YouTube and ComicsFX TV channels. Have a great trading day!